the sunlight, sunlight glistens. glistens on the rippling water. Well, that's not dialogue. That's a scene description. Sorry, Lance. This is going to be my masterpiece, Quinn. I'm really excited for you. I've always loved all your movies. Thank you. But not as much as I love you. Only if you did. Hi there. Uh, I was wondering if I could speak to someone in the uh, film arts department, please. Thank you. Hi. My name is Lance White, and uh, I recently applied to your uh, film arts program. Uh, I was wondering what uh, sort of things you judge an applicant on. Uh, I'd recently been rejected, and I was wondering what I can do in order to get in next year. Well, we do look at grades, but they can be outweighed by the strength of your portfolio. Basically, submit a piece of your best work from which we can judge your talents, your strengths, and your weaknesses. I did send in a movie. I sent in my best movie, actually. Okay, let me just pull up your file here. Ah, yes, Lance White. Well, your grade point average didn't help you very much. You had an overall high school average of 51.1%. I passed, didn't I? What about my movie? Uh, you had submitted a 40-minute movie on VHS entitled Smelly Socks. Yeah, that's the one. Now, I didn't view this tape personally. However, there are some comments here about it from the Board of Admissions. Uh, they're the ones you need to impress. I won't read most of these because it's mostly just slander. Uh, here, oh, here's a positive one. I've seen worse. How can that be? That's some funny shit, man. Uh, here we go. The film should not have even been given the privilege of being called a film. It is obviously shot on the most hideous high 8 I've seen transferred to VHS at least twice. The cuts are horrible. Obviously this gentleman has never heard of flying erase heads. Flying erasers? He goes on to comment about the shaky camera shots, the acting, the poor dialogue. Shall I go further? Nah, that would be fine. Take my advice. Find a group of people in your area who have a half a clue what they're doing. Are you working in the film industry at all? Oh yes. And I'm trying to work my way up the ladder. Uh, right now I'm kind of at the bottom. Oh. Well, what sort of work do you do? I work at a video store. Okay, so you're renting The Secret of Nim and Dead Alive. Yeah, that's correct. All right. Okay, that'll be 650. Thank you. What a burden. You know, you can use plastic around the debit card. I heard that can help it work sometimes. Okay, I'll give it a try. I'll be with you in just one moment. Oh yeah, take your time, buddy. Ah, okay, got it. There you go. Uh, I have to do this again, man. These, I find these things so confusing. With the green button being okay and cancel being red. Oh, this is confusing. I gotta do it again. I hit cancel. Okay. Hey, come on. Let's get this line moving, yo. Oh, forget it, man. I'll just pay cash. All right. Some people, eh? Yeah. Okay, so you're renting Transformers, Time Bandits, and The Evil Dead. Have you seen this before? No. H hence the reason I am renting it. Okay. Transformers, sweet movie. Oh, don't even talk to me about Transformers. I can quote every line in that movie. It's a beautiful film. Ebert, God love everything he's done for the film industry, but he gave it a bad review. Somebody should put a horse's head in his sheets for that. Oh, when I first saw the film, I remember I was five years old, and I remember it as clear as day. My mother took me to the Oxford Theatre for the Sunday matinee. Uh, the electricity. 
the action, the eight, the hot 80s soundtrack, the momentum. It was the reason why I got into movies. Transformers? Yeah. It was a beautiful film. It was a beautiful show, really. So anyway, I just picked up a DVD player and I thought, I gotta go check this out, you know? But I look on the back and it says that it's in full frame. It's been formatted to fit my screen. Let me ask you a question. What does the overpaid jack-off who printed this box know about my screen? I have a 16 by 9 40 inch widescreen TV, I'll have him know. And why do DVDs have to be a full screen anyway? I like the black borders. Consumer demand. Jesus. You know, home video is like the biggest insult to a director's vision. Not only do you take the big picture and you condense it down to a TV, but you cut the sides off. Then comes along DVD. A director's dream. Everything's in widescreen. The director can have his commentary track along it, and it's a digital transfer of the original print. Wonderful. And then these jack-offs come along and they start complaining about everything being in widescreen. So now we've got widescreen and full-screen DVDs. Before you know it, everything's going to be in full-screen, just like VHS. Excuse me, do you have this movie in full-screen? Full-screen? Excuse me? It's people like you who have ruined DVD for the rest of us. I happen to enjoy watching the movies without the top and the bottom cut off. The top and bottom aren't cut off, you ignoramus. What are you renting anyway, Pocahontas? Give me that. Olsen twins? I happen to think they're very talented actresses. I happen to think you're a pedophile. Maybe I have children. Did you ever think of that? No. I know you don't have children because no woman in her right mind would ever sleep with you. If I wasn't a good Christian father, I'd put you right in your place right now. Yeah, I'll put you in your place. And that'd be a most men's worst. You can find something to replace that ridiculous blue sweater you got there. Well, 1931 just called and they want their hat back. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Some people. Hey, hey, you got that movie in full screen? Well, the job would be better if I didn't have to deal with all the customers. You mean the dumb ones? No, 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 pretty much just all of them. I think my dream job is a job where I don't have to work with people. I mean, not co-workers, like on a film set or something, but I, I mean just the general public. I mean, honestly. I don't think I've ever had a job where I didn't have to hear about people's problems or their lame jokes. But I'm sure that'll all change soon. You know, once you're a professional filmmaker and not an amateur. What is your definition of a professional, anyway? Well, a professional means you get paid to do something. Right now you're a professional home video distribution cashier because you get paid for it. But as soon as someone pays you to make a movie, you're a professional. There she is, Freddy. Uh, I still remember the day my mother, God bless her soul, bought it for me for my 12th birthday. Yeah, your mom's cool. Indeed. You see that crack right there? That was from the time when Jimmy Rogers dropped it. God, thank God she didn't break right then and there. And you see that scratch? Yeah. Yeah, that was from the time when we uh, strapped it to the bike oh, really? and we wanted to do that moving <laughs> shot. Oh my God. I remember you uh, kind of <laughs> fell and uh, scratched yeah. and scraped your knee and all that. Mm. Man. You know, if you listen, you know, if you're real quiet, she'll tell you all these tales. Yeah, she's certainly got a lot of history. Sharon, Sharon, it's time for you to come out of retirement. She's been asleep for what, two years now? I don't even know if I remember how to ask. Shh. Just give her a minute. Sharon, good morning, sweetie. Sorry I kept you in there so long. You want to go make some movies? Yeah. Let's call Mike. He has no life. Hello. Mike, what are you doing today? Uh, nothing, man. Oh, good. Come shoot a movie with me and Freddy. Yeah, okay. Who is this? Pretty good spot. Okay. So how's your morning been? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I slept at all last night. Seriously? I don't remember. Oh. I think me and my buddy drank like 10 or 12 beers, like each. We were fucking wasted, man. 
So you've been to any AA meetings lately? I didn't know there was any going on. All right, let's get the show on the road. Now, your line is, yo, Teddy, you got the stuff. And then your line is, yeah, I got the stuff, but it'll cost you. And then that's when I'll say cut, all right? Sweet, yeah. Just give me a sec, okay? All right, so y'all set there, Mike? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I'm good. It's my line again. Yo, Teddy, you got the stuff. Yo, Freddy, you got the stuff. No, it's Teddy. Who's Teddy? Freddy's Teddy. Whoa, I like movies. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, ready. And action. What's up, Teddy, bitch? You got the shit, yo? Yeah, I got the shit, but you just be ready to cough up them Lizzie's. Okay, cut. Look, can we do that again? That was really bad. Like, I didn't really feel my character in it. Like, I didn't have the... the what are we gonna use for the stuff, man? Well, I guess I can go to the store and get some sugar. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Hey, man, can we watch what we filmed? No. Film me, man. Film me. Okay. I would just like to say that working with Lance White on his movies is so much fun. I get to be an actor and swear, and then I can watch it later. Cool. Man, give me that shit. I want to it. No. Hey! Lance said we can't watch it. Me and Lance are like rooms in this chair. No! Oh, oh shit. shit. All right, guys, let's go. Shit. Sharon. Oh my god. What the fuck happened? Sharon. Sharon. She died doing what she loved. She loved making movies with us, Freddy. You understand that? <laughs> No, lots of shitty moves, boys. Well, we hadn't made a movie in so long. Then finally we get together to do it, and... Ah, don't feel too down about it, Lance. I'm sure you've got some money. Why don't you go and buy one of those new digital cameras? Yeah, that'd be really cool. I don't have any money. And besides, I'd have to save up to get an advance in university. And... I'd have to make a movie in order to get an advance in university. Well, how come they didn't like smelly socks? Why do I have to make a movie in order to get into a school that teaches you how to make movies? If I already know how to make a movie, like, isn't going to school, like, a little redundant? I, don't, I think they're just being selective, honey. Hmm. I mean, they don't want some kid picking a film of his toes and sending it in as an application. Besides, you don't make the kind of films that are usually selected. You should go down to the film festival and see the type of films they're making down there. Well, what kind of films do they make? Well, interesting and artistic ones, mostly. They're not bad. I've been to see them once or twice.
Stay away from that shoelace! No. Stay away from the lace! Hello everyone, I'm Thurston Burness, and I'm the director of The Shoelace, which you just saw. Are there any questions about the movie? Yes, I have one. Yeah, you in the back. What kind of hash were you smoking when you made this ridiculous movie? Because I'd like to try some. Moshi Moshi. Hi, Lance. Hey, Quinn. What's going on? I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm good. Listen, what are you doing today? <laughs> Page 12. The Wells. Wells University Film Society. See, that would be useful if I actually went to Wells University. Did I tell you about the guy I've been seeing, Jack Reynolds? No. Well, we've been seeing each other for a couple of weeks. And, like, we have lunch in between his classes and stuff. Oh, sweet. So, I was talking to this friend of mine in one of my other classes. She told me about how she was going out with this guy and for after like two months she realized that this guy wasn't even going to her university and he was telling like everyone that he was and she wasn't the first girl he'd done this to and his name was Jack Reynolds. The point is how are they gonna tell you go to the university? They're not gonna ask you for an ID. Curious! Besides it's Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So it wouldn't hurt to stop by, see what they're all about. Maybe I will. Here you go. So what do you want? White tea? Black tea? Here you go. Frig ya. Thank you, Mother. Uh, I was wondering if I could borrow the uh, car on Wednesday. Uh, I want to go check out this Wells Film Society meeting. Oh, yeah. Are they going to help you make the leap from amateur to professional? Uh, could be the first step. Chuck, look at this. Roger the Mall is planning his next feature on digital. Then he goes on to list the pros and cons of digital over film. It's cheaper. It's more efficient. It generates a similar look. A similar look? Is he kidding? Or is he on? It can create... Well, not a similar look, but broadcast quality. It makes it easy for people like us to make films. Video. You're taking a publicly marketed format and calling it broadcast quality. The definition of broadcast quality will alter very quickly. Nothing. And I mean nothing will ever duplicate the look of film. It's what separates the filmmakers from the hacks. Lucas has gone digital. Did I stutter? Filmmakers from the hacks. Hey. Hi. Uh, have we met? You look kind of familiar. Yes, we've met at the film fest. Oh, thank you. What did you say your name was? Yeah, Lance. Lance White. Cheers. Charles Preston. All right. This is Thurston. Thurston Burness. Hey. Oh, yeah. I saw your movie at the film festival last week. The shoot lace. What did you think of it? That was complete garbage. Seems like a one sided opinion. I wrote it. Is there anything you actually did like about it? Uh, who cares what he thinks? Thurston. He's entitled to his own opinion. Hardly. I say anyone who wishes to remain biased or uninformed about anything that, like, you know, they have no connection to, should just sit there, be quiet, and have no opinion whatsoever on the subject. Hey, Charles. Hey, Thurst. Hi, I'm Sean McKay. Oh, hi, nice to meet you, Midline Sport. Likewise. 
Okay, is everyone here? No, I think Hugo said he was going to come. Speak of the devil. Gentlemen. Well, Lance, it was great talking to you. But as you can see, we're having our meeting now. What are you talking about? I'm here for the meeting as well. Oh, are you? Lance, this is Hugo. Hugo, this is Lance Weiss. Nice to meet you. Hugo Asher. Oh, yeah. Hugo to see Hugo Asher. Well, I, for one, am pleased to see that we have a new member. Excuse me, hold on. Why are you here? Why? Because I want to make movies. Back the craft truck up. Beep, beep, beep. You want to make films? Yes. I'm getting this vibe that you don't really belong at this meeting. Thurston's just a little wound up because he found out Roger Lamont's switching to digital. I read that. Hey Thurston, didn't you work on his last feature? My cousin got me a job as a gaffer. There was pay, which was great considering it was in Indy. What movie was that? Uh, Sailing the Sky. It was at the festival last year. It won most of the awards. It wasn't all that good, of course. Well, no. I liked it. Okie day. I never saw it. What? Surprise. So, our only expense for the movie is really the film and the processing. But what's it about? Well, it, the idea is to make the movie artistic. Kind of like the shoelace movie. But that movie sucked. Well, I know. But we have no choice. I mean, we gotta make a movie that will appeal to the film festival audience. We can't spend time and money making Smelly Socks 2 or whatever. Two guys are sitting in a room, facing one another. One guy holds up a card, as if to ask the other guy which card it is. The other guy guesses the Queen of Hearts. So he flips the card around, it's the Queen of Hearts. Then he guesses again the Jack of Clubs. Again, he is right. So, so he has ESP. What? What does the channels that he has have to do with anything? Anyway, so finally he holds up another card. The guy guesses the Jack of Hearts. The guy's like, no, it's the Jack of Ass. Jack of Ass. Don't you get it? I think that's silly. Who asked you? You did. Like five minutes ago you asked me what I thought of your movie. I think it's silly. I think you should rethink your idea, Lance. It sucks. Maybe I will. Interesting idea. Yeah, I like it. It sounds provocative. Gotta be better than the bridges of Halifax County. I concord. What do you think, Thurston? No comment. I say we vote. All in favor of Lance White's $200 production of Jack of Ass. Oh, wow. Thurston? Okay. I'll give him my vote. But only because you're going to do this on 8mm film. Plus, I'm a little curious. Alright, then it's settled. Now remember, Lance, you have to be very, very careful with this camera. It's an antique. And I don't think my dad would appreciate anything happening to it. Oh yeah, I have a real bad history of breaking other people's stuff. I'm worried. What's that to worry about? All it's gonna do is sit on a tripod. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Hello? Hey Mike, it's Lance. Damn it! Does that make any sense to you? I mean... First he drops my camera, and now he's giving me the silent treatment. I mean, shouldn't it be the other way around? What about Jimmy? What about Jimmy? I like movies. Yes, Jimmy. Don't we all? Okay. Are we ready to rehearse? No. Yes. Good. Okay, so Jimmy, your line is, the queen of spades. Can you say that? Yes. So you've got it down? No. <sighs> the king of shades? Queen. Queen of AIDS. Freddy, he's not gonna get his lines down. Relax, Lance. We can do it. We can do this. Just give him a chance. I like movies. 
Okay, let's shoot this bad boy. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going behind you and get a shoulder shot, okay? All right. Ready? Ready. And action. The queen of spades. Correct! Yes! Sweet! I got it. All right, come on guys, just stay in character. So how are you gonna edit this thing anyway? Splice editing, I'd assume. Maybe I'll ask someone at the WFS. One of them must want to do it. Hey, be careful! That's my dad's! If anything happens to that, I'm dead. Nothing is going to happen to your dad's projector. Well, I hope I'm going to be entertained, boys. Well, it's unedited footage. I wouldn't expect it to be anything great quite yet. Where's the sound? Eight millimeter doesn't have sound. Didn't you know that? What do you mean there's no sound? We're missing important dialogue. Freddy, did you know eight millimeter doesn't have sound? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say something? I don't know. Unless you're going for the artistic silent montage or something. No sound. What a fucked up format! I mean, who even uses this anymore? Take young. It just went out of style in the early 80s. Shit! How do you turn this thing off? Fuck! Lance, be careful! I am careful, damn it! Ah! Holy shit! Oh! 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 What's up, Lance? Don't you stand there! Get somebody to put it out! There! Come on, you sick! Ow! I got the popcorn and yo yo! Come on, get some water! Stop, water! This is my dad! Projector! Oh, yeah! oh! Oh! possess the opposable digits to operate a film projector, but since it was your first time, I guess we'll let it slow. How did you not know that 8mm film doesn't record sound? It's okay. Even the great ones make mistakes. Like me! Well, well this, this is funny, but, but seriously, what do you propose to do about your project? I would hope that you'd honor your contract to find a way to finish this. Yeah, I just need to think about it. I mean, I've already lost half my budget. Well, okay, give it some thought. But in any case, we still need a finished print of your film. How'd your meeting go? They all laughed at me. I think they were trying to hide the fact that they were disappointed in me. Can I have a smoke? Go ahead. Do you ever think maybe you weren't meant to finish this film? What do you mean? It's not you. It really isn't you. It's like you're like you're trying to hide yourself. Or you're trying to hide your talent. I mean, you used to write things with depth when you were young. Oh, yeah, I mean, like you could tell it was written by a kid. But, you know, what you did was interesting. And then I don't know. Maybe it was peer pressure or something. Then you just start making silly movies. I just miss the days where making movies was fun. A job is what you make it. A job can be very rewarding. Well, you could be a salesman and be really proud of your sales record. Or, or a construction worker and be proud of the houses that you build. Well, the work that you do, what, you, you could make something, put it down on film that you could cherish forever. I suppose I always liked that fact. There are so few people in life who are happy with the road they have taken, who are not happy with their line of work. You've only got one life to live, Lance. So I say, you go for it. I mean, go all the way. If you want to be a filmmaker, go all the way. Otherwise, you'll just end up 
being miserable. There is so much redundancy in films today. There are so many you see that are good, but, but so seldom are they great. Now that's because people want to feel what they see. Oh, it's good to go to, to get an occasional laugh at the movies, but people want something, something that touches them. I see that in you. Now, now you know me. If I thought you were destined to just be a screw-up, I would tell you. You're crazy. It's good to be crazy. Keeps you from going insane. Thanks for the smoke. I can tell you, that Lance man, what an idiot. Uh, he's just inexperienced. Inexperienced? Please. Chimps have more experience than he does. So inexperienced, actually, that we decided that we'd all like to vote on giving him $200 of our society's money. And we have no proof that he knows what he's doing or is capable of even doing anything. Look, all I'm saying is, the goals of our society shouldn't be, like, getting new members and just tossing our money around in the streets. Hell, I could light my cigarettes off it if we're gonna do that. I have faith in him. Yeah, and God had faith in Adam and Eve. I vote next time we have a meeting, that we vote that he ends up having like an experienced veteran working with him on this production. I don't think he needs supervision. I think he needs assistance. Why don't you help him? Me? No way. No how. I've got schoolwork coming up and I gotta spend a lot of time on that. Plus I have this big proposal coming up that I have to give to Film Street. One which I'm very confident that I shall win. I've been providing several hours of volunteer service to Film Street. Unlike some untalented hack which just waltzes into our film society, sits down and gets handed 200 freaking dollars. I've made two finished films now. Films, not digital videos. Uh, Mr. Vaness, after a uh, careful overlooking of your project proposal and a unanimous vote of all of Film Street's members, we have decided to give you this offer. Uh, however, you may be most displeased with the amount of zeros behind the bill, because there are... None. Just two digits. Uh, however, we do not wish this to let this discourage you from another pro project that you may have in mind. If you happen to have come across another idea and you would like to submit to our We Love Short Shorts grants giving program, you may feel free to come in and direct them to this wall to my left. Those bastards, man. Those goddamn faggots. Excuse me. The unfortunate and ironic notion is their multicultural and freedom of expression ways. I mean, let's face it. You're a straight white male. Kind of makes you feel like a minority, doesn't it? And after all I did for those guys... At least you got some time freed up. Nah. I could probably make a few budget cuts here and there, and... Yeah, I could probably survive off the WFS alone alone. I wouldn't count your chickens. What do you mean? Did you read the Wells newspaper today? Next year they're planning a 15% tuition rate. 15%? Jesus! Wait a second. How does this affect me? We're graduating this year. Read between the lines. Obviously the university doesn't have the financial stability it had back in the 90s. Over the past three years, the number of successful graduates who have been able to find work in their field of study has become low. Why? Because the reputation of the school itself has become low. Back in 98, McLean's rated the sixth best school in the country. Now, it's not even on the list. You can expect Wells to undergo a major audit, and Sean's going to be the one taking the heat. It's between you and I, though. Sean knows about it. There's going to have to be some major changes made if we want to keep making this film. At this time, we'd appreciate your cooperation. So in brief, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to meet with you one-on-one -on -one for further discussion. Posted behind me are the dates and times for a rep from each society to meet with me in my office. Please bring detailed receipts and budget layouts. Thank you. Um, no. No? What do you mean, no? You're asking for $875 that we don't have. I find it convenient that our budget restrictions don't come into play when someone like Lance White waltzes into our society. He asked for $200. you are looking for close to $1,000. i am not talking about the amount. I'm talking about the principle of it. Relax. You know our real financial situation as well as I do. How can I calm down about this? Has everyone gone mad? Here's an idea. You are going to help Lance with his movie. Right now, it might be the only card we have to play. And the award goes to Wells Film Society for Jack of Ass. Hey guys, before we start, why don't you take a look at this? I move that we vote 
that the contract and budget of Jack of Ass be moved to the production of The Fallen Warrior. Interesting. No. No? It's 20 pages long. That means we're looking at 15, 20 minutes of film. Do you know how much that's going to cost? We could go digital. Digital will work right now. Our effort should be put towards putting in a film that's going to get into the uh, film festival. Any film festival will screen beta SP or any digital format. A lot of indie filmmakers can't afford to finish their projects on film. I'm not going to condone putting more money into making home movies. Besides, you haven't even read this script. Why don't you read it before you endorse it? How do we know it's any good? Oh, it's good. Thank you for clearing that up, Lance. In any case, we don't need to take a vote. Retitling and rewriting the project is allowed. Great. And Thurston, you want Film Festival glory? You are going to help him. When do I begin? Oh, you could just go right ahead. Any piece of uh, you want to perform, you can do. But just so you know, we have a no Juliet rule in effect. Damn it. Ready when you are. All right. I will now do the motivational speech by William Wallace. The movie Braveheart. Cute. <clears throat> Run, and you will die. Fight, and you will live, at least for a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day until that to come back here and tell our enemies that they can take away our lives, but they can never take away our freedom? Thank you very much, my dear Lisa. We have your name and your number, and we'll be sure to contact you as soon as we've made our decision. You don't sound like you liked it. Oh, oh I liked it. Thank you. Yes, wonderful. But we're not just looking for someone who can quote their favorite movie lines here. We're looking for someone who can handle the pressures of acting and... I can handle the pressures of acting. Welcome aboard. Lance. What? Come on, man. We gotta talk about this. Look, okay? I'm the director. I make the casting decisions, not you, alright? My name's Lisa Lynn, by the way. Okay. Well, you are by far the best, best candidate we've had today. So you got the part. Thank you. I foresee this being the first step in a bad movie. <sighs> Come on, she's beautiful. Exactly. I don't think you have one ounce of professionalism in you. This is what I want you to do. You will not hit on her. You will not ask her out. You don't even talk to her unless it's about the movie. Until I say rap. You got it? You just said rap. I'm serious here, man. It was clever of you to write the script to accommodate existing locations. Halifax has many wooded areas that we could use. Why, well, thank you. The only other issue that we have is in the casting of the two male leads. No problem. My buddy Freddie can act. Can he? Well, he took drama in high school. He's been in all of my movies. The list of credentials this Freddie friend of yours has is almost as impressive as Lisa Lyne's rack. I graciously commend you on your casting decisions. I see you becoming one of the great filmmakers of our generation. Why, well, thank you. Do you know who Alvin Williams is? Yeah, he was on that CBC show. What was it called? Higher Grace. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna get him. Really? How? I mean, I know CBC broadcasting isn't of highest quality, but I would still think he would lower himself to student films. Yes, he will. He's my cousin, and he owes me a favor. Your cousin? Really? A student film? Well, I don't know about that. But I'll consider it because it's you. 
why don't you bring this Lance White guy over to my house sometime? I don't know. I think Saturday around 3 o'clock I might have some free time. Does that sound good? So how's the movie coming? Oh, we're making some progress. Thurston Verness from the Film Society is getting Alvin Williams from Higher Grace to star in it. That's exciting. I got a new job. Too. Oh, yeah? At the dry cleaners. Your pickups are stationed over there. Your drop bombs are over there on that rack. In between customers, there's really not a lot to do, so if you want to bring a book to read, that's fine with me. Between customers, you can get really slow. You're gonna pay me to read. Well, I'm paying you to watch the store, but in a manner of speaking, yeah. This is my kind of job. Hey there. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm just getting off work. Where are you headed? I'm heading to work. Oh, right on. So how'd the film society get? We're making a short film. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get together, you know, for, uh, you know, coffee or something. You know, I haven't seen you in a while, so. Yeah, well, it's school and work and stuff. Yeah, no. But we'll definitely get together. All right, that's great. But I have to get to work. That's fine. See ya. See you later. So what happened with her? With who? With Quinn. It was like you guys were an item, but you never really closed the deal. I don't know. I guess I didn't know how to. Maybe I've been rejected by her, and then I lose my friendship with her. It doesn't matter to me. I was fun being friends with her. I just miss her sometimes. We don't have the connection like we used to have. Well, tell her. I can't tell her. Why not? Because I can't. I don't know how I, what I feel, really. I don't know if it was there in the first place, and if it was, I don't know if it's still there. I wrote her, though. What do you mean? The Fallen Warrior. It's about her. I guess I just wanted to write something that came from the heart. You won't tell me. Of course not. Good. So, when will you meet with Alvin Williams? Tomorrow. Thurston says I'm going to have to impress him. I mean, he's a big star actor. At least in Halifax. Well, make sure you dress up a bit. It couldn't hurt. Welcome to my humble domain. How are you, cousin? Very well. Very well. This must be Lance White. When he's all dressed for the occasion, that's good to see. How are you, Mr. White? I'm um, good. Pleased to meet you. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's uh, make like this is baseball and pitch me your movie, gentlemen. So, what do you think? I think it sucks. But, I'll do it because I love the camera. That's greatly appreciated, Alvin. Principal photography will be on the um, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We'll try to pull it off so quick like a band-aid that none of your time is wasted. Why, thank you. Well, that went well. Consider yourself privileged. I do. Is he always like that? Like what? I don't know. I'd almost thought you were gay or something. Yes, well, he's an actor, if that sums it up. But I almost thought he did swing that way once until I heard a story that he had told me about bagging a cougar once. Hmm. Hunting. Well, that were a very masculine sport, but I don't really see how that necessarily would narrow down his sexual preference. Just so we're all clear, Lisa Lynn isn't here today because she had to make a trip to her gynecologist. She will be playing the role of Lilith, the damsel in distress. TV's Alvin Williams will be playing Clive, the hero of the story. And last but not least, Freddy Carmen will be playing the evil Gnarth. Well, I must say, he looks awfully intimidating. Thank you. So, uh, just out of curiosity, what sort of acting experience do you have there, Freddy? Well, I've been in all of Lance's movies. Oh, all And I took drama in high school. Really? All three years? And I was in a play in elementary school, too. Oh, and I bet your so. daddy was there to videotape it, too, wasn't he? Yeah. Now, what play did you say it was? It was Snow White. Oh, and I bet you played the title role, didn't you there, Slugger? Would anybody like some hot cocoa? I wouldn't mind a cup, but I'd rather a D. <laughs> oh, Alvin Williams. Well, well, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Thank you. Lance never mentioned he had a sister. Yeah. Oh, I've, I, I've always been a big fan of yours. Well, thank you. Oh, well, and it's so nice that you're helping my son with his little movie. <laughs> well, it has been a humbling experience thus far, but interesting. I'll be right back. Well, humbling experiences aside and interesting ones left for a Saturday night, 
Lance, I need to talk to you for a quick word. Just between me and you. Yeah. Look, the shoot begins in about five days, and we still have some preparations to make. So I'm going to have to suggest that you and me have this little, like a little meeting to work out some of the final details. Just you and me. Well, actually, Wells Film Society kind of meeting. Things are, um, things aren't going well on the finance front. What do you mean? I mean, we need this movie now. Well, everything's pretty much set to go. What we need to understand is that exactly two weeks from today, every single shot has to be locked and completed. Thurston will see to the editing, while Hugo will provide the musical score. You do music? Indeed I do. I use computer program to do it. Let's face it, Lance. Hugo nuts over my music. One more thing, fellas. We're sending in the sound man. He's a little slow, but he knows his stuff. He'll, he'll be meeting you here first thing tomorrow morning. The sound man. Have I ever met him? No, but he's worked with us before, and he's willing to work for free. Just, just make sure that you're both here to meet with him tomorrow. So, Maurice, is it? Move. And, uh, how many movies have you worked on? That's fantastic! Fantastic. Yeah, he's got experience. Come on. Can I speak to you outside for a second? Look, you can't have any retarded people working on this movie. He's retarded? Oh, I forgot all about getting a camera guy. Oh, oh. maybe I can find somebody at it. Short notice. Man, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know a guy. I like making movies. Yeah, Lance. Yeah. Hey, it's Thurston. Yeah, you're gonna kill me for this, but I can't make it. What? No, Thurston. What do you mean you can't make it? I said I'd be there. I, I booked it off with these idiots for like a week. They're a bunch of goofs, what can I say? Well, can't you get someone to cover your shift or Man, something? Man, I'm real sorry. So I have to do this all by myself? Yeah, you can do it. I got I, I, I got a good amount of faith in you. Yeah. Fine. Lance, do I have to wear this? Yeah, what's wrong with it? It's cool. No, it's shit. Is this my costume? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, is, uh, this your, this your first movie? Uh, Larry, Larry, you gotta get me out of this gig. Yeah. No, babe, I can't, I can't be here. No, I can't. They got me dressed in, I'm wearing a fucking rag and, and a bed sheet. It's disgusting. I look like a dirty vampire. No. Hi, Lisa. It's Lance. Uh, just one quick question. <laughs> you know, it sounds silly, but uh, how come you're not here? Uh, I'm kind of busy today. No. Oh, yeah? Oh, you had things to do, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we kind of have things to do here, too, and it's kind of hard to get them done when uh, some of our cast isn't here. <laughs> no, I'll be there tomorrow. Not today. Yeah, I know I'm kind of funny like that. It's, it's just that I can't really make a film without the actress here. You know? <laughs> I'm hanging up now. So, are we gonna get this thing started anytime soon, or...? I think we can get that uh, horse in the movie. I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think we can do that today. Why not? Um, she's she's kind of cranky. Cranky? Yeah, she's... Just, Look at that face. She, need, she needs... She needs special treatment. 
right, so this is what I want them to see, all right? This has got to be a tent. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to take out this sword right here, you see? And I want you to, like, give him a nice sharp blow. And what you're going to do is you're going to block him like this, right? And then he's going to come down like that, and you're going to block him like that. Lance, that sword's real, eh? Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to hurt you. Just calm down, all right? Okay, so, Jimmy, what I want you to do is uh, I want you to frame this shot right here, and we'll be good okay. to go. Okay? Okay. You got that? Yeah. You know what framing the shot means, don't you? No. All right, ready, guys? Right, right. All right, sorry. Yeah. All right. And action! Okay, let's see how this turned out. What the hell? Is this drool? Ah. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. I've got to say, it's been a great pleasure working with the great Alvin Williams. I know. There, respect to completion. Fantastic. Yeah, despite all the absences of a Miss Avril Lavigne one of you. You mean Lisa? Yes, Lance. I mean Lisa. Don't demean Avril Lavigne. She's a talented songwriter. A talented artist if you consider what an eighth grader writes down in their diary and dreams about every night talent. Look, the important thing is what we have here might be Wells Film Society's one chance at survival. You've put off this meeting long enough, Sean. I, I know, and I apologize for that. We've been really busy. We have this movie. It's called The Fallen Warrior. Now, when we just hear back from the film festival in a few days... That's we... wonderful. But under the agreement you have with the university, you were to make three films per year. First of all, this year and last year, you have one film. That leaves you five films to fulfill your agreement. It's, it's, you know, you know how long it takes to make movies, man. It just needs till the end of the school year. We okay. had this discussion a year ago about why these three films were not produced. I, I can maybe overlook this, give you another three months, but there's one thing I cannot overlook. There is no record whatsoever of a Lance White attending Wells University. What? Your records state that over $900 was transferred into the account of Lance White. It is my duty as a Wells student relations rep to inform you that this constitutes as fraud and grounds for expulsion. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but the Wells Film Society will no longer be receiving any funding. And you will no longer be a student here, Mr. McKay. Hey, Charles, what's happening? Hey, Sean, what's up? You think you can come over for a bit? Okay. Hey, Sean, what's going on? They shut us down. It's over. I should have known. For what? I should have known the whole time. All this free time you had. You're a liar. You lied about being a student. Just to sneak in and get money. You, uh, what university would even take you anyway? I can't believe I was so stupid. I just wanted to make movies. We... It's not your fault. We all knew the truth. Sean had been pocketing the society's money forever. No movies were being made, because there's no money for it. He'd been using it all for his tuition. The society only endorsed your movie because they knew that you were new, and that you were unaware of some of the corruption. The only two people who really knew everything was me and Charles, and we kept our mouths shut. I guess it just caught up to him. 
just caught up to all of us. I'm sorry about what happened. I find it almost amusing, though. The fact that this will be the last movie that I ever really get to make. I wouldn't say that. We could, we could do something else. With what money? Money? H how many unnecessary expenses did we use to make The Fallen Warrior? Like, well, just get a camera and shoot. Just get a camera and shoot. That's your answer to everything. It doesn't sound very professional. Well, we're not professionals. I need to think about what direction I'm going in here. I can't afford not to get a job in the movie industry. And I can't afford to waste my time doing something that film festivals won't even take a look at. I've come here today, Lance, to bid you adieu. Maybe we can work together some other time. Head to the film festival office, Lance. Head there and drop off the movie. I wouldn't expect it to get in, but maybe it would help get you into school, though. Goodbye, Lance. Goodbye, Thurston. There's something I want to tell you. Me too. There's something I have to get off my chest. Oh. Well, what is it? I met someone. Like, I had a couple of classes with him, but I didn't really notice him then. And then one day he took me out to lunch, and it was really Well, that's wonderful. Hello? Hi, Lisa. Hi, it's Lance, uh, the director of The Fallen Warrior. Oh, yeah. Hi. I was just, uh, you know, the movie's done, and it's good. I was just wondering, uh, what you're doing Friday night. Yeah, you asked me on a date. Well, yeah. No. No? No. I gotta go now. I think the reason I can't write it well is because I don't know it. Well, what can you do? I wouldn't get all tangled up in this Quinn thing if I were you. Maybe you should just let it go. Yeah. But, like, had I known what to do and say in the first place, there wouldn't have been an issue. I'm so embarrassed by my movie, I, I don't even want to look at it. But did you bring it to the festival? Not yet. Well, do it up. The worst they could say is no, and then you at least tried. Yeah, I guess so. Look, do you want my advice? What? You can't write a love story because you don't know a love story. If you write what you know, you'd be really surprised at how good it turns out. Last night, I was at work, and I had an idea. So I decided to write down what I know. Cool. Well, what's that? Hold up. I wrote it down. I spent the whole damn night writing the script. Then I realized it was 9.30. It was closing time. Not a single customer came in all day. Don't you get it? I was paid to write this screenplay. I'm no longer an amateur. Really? I was paid $35 to write this screenplay. What's it about? It's about us. About amateur movies about all the bullshit that we go through to make amateur movies. It's about, you know, making it on a low budget. A really low budget. It could look like shit, but the material's still good. Ask anyone and they'll tell you. It's not the format, it's the content. But I think we can make the format work for us. Because essentially, 
It's amateur filmmakers making a movie about amateur filmmakers with the same style and format that characters make their movies on. Thurston, it's Lance. I have an idea for a movie. Interesting. So let's do it. Don't you get it, Lance? It's not films. It's still a bunch of Yahoo kids screwing around on handheld cameras. I know. It's kids playing with a video camera making a movie about kids playing with a video camera making amateur movies. It's not the format that counts, man. It's the content that makes it good. The format is important. Don't you get it? I don't plan to add to the digital pollution of this world by stooping to that level. I am a filmmaker. A filmmaker who needs to figure out how in the hell I'm gonna get noticed. But I'm not there because of guys like you who get in the way. I'm an artist, man. That's the point. And what you seem to miss is that half the time this world doesn't give a damn about what the story's about. The following program has coarse language and nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. It's a goddamn porno. And it's shot on high eight. And it's on TV. Hello? Lance? It's a goddamn porno. It, never mind. The point is, you're you're right. It's not about the format. It's about the content. I know! Meet me tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m. sharp. I got a way to get us some Lizzie's. Well then, listen, I, I am gonna need some time to go through this with the other members of Film Street. The film festival deadline's in two weeks. Well, if you need an immediate answer, I'm afraid that it is. Okay. Excuse me? I'm okay. With him. Listen, contrary to what you may or may not have heard about Film Street, we do not discriminate against... Well then, will the check do? So we'll get uh, Hugo to do the music for the movie? Hugo? No, not Hugo. We need something more upbeat, or something a little more... Edge. Big band, all right? Don't, and I repeat, don't screw this up. I'm not gonna screw this up, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Nice to see you guys again. Hello. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Nice to see you guys That's right. Now, I was telling Lance here that you guys were interested in throwing down a few songs on the soundtrack. Well, that sounds good. We just have to, you know, talk about it as a band, you know, talk to the management and stuff, get in touch with us through email. Oh, I, I, I want me to be in the movie. Can you get get me in the movie? Yeah, I want to, I wouldn't mind being a movie star, starting a little movie career. Oh, yeah. No. And my mom, no said, my mom says I look like Tom Cruise. You, you do. <laughs> you do. You got it. You got it. Did I look good on stage last night? Oh, yeah. How did, yes. my, how did my hair look? Man, we should get all the band members in the movie. Get, get a good cameo section going, you know what I'm saying? Yes, King Conqueror, yeah, no doubt about it. Well, the thing is, though, I mean, uh, I kind of have a bit of a stipulation on that. I mean, I, got this thing. Uh, in order for me to appear in a movie, it's got to be at least three X's for a rating, or at least a strong R. You guys were great. It's so great to see a decent third grade background. What? What did you just say? Oh, Lance. You're really done it this time, you goof. What do you mean, what do you mean third grade? No, I'm just saying you guys are great, that's all. Third grade what? I didn't say great, you said third grade. 
What's up, man? I am so pissed off. They tried to rip us off again. They tried to rip us off again. What? Well, Fuck! I'm so mad I can punch someone right in the fucking face. Oh, really? Jesus. Really? Well, let me. You know what? You might be able to, Steve, because this guy right here, right there, that guy, just called us a third rate band. Hey, wait a second. Fucking idiot. Third rate what band? About, What'd you say, you little fuck? Hey, man, I said you guys were. this shit. Let's get him! No, what? Go out! Uh, more of it right here for you, sir. We know how to do this. <laughs> I know you're a kryptonite cousin. Excited about the movie now, aren't we? I think that first shot was quite weak. I mean, come on. Let's, uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? You think so? You think so? I like you, Lance. So, do we have a deal? We sure do. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we got a deal now. We Excellent. Got a deal. We got a deal. So, Wednesday then. Wednesday? Wednesday! Yes! Excellent. Wednesday! That's yes. right! That's right! Wednesday! Pour this man another drink! Wednesday! Yeah. <laughs> Bye, All right. This is it. So yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later, bud. And don't forget. <laughs> Wednesday. That's right. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. The sauce is like kryptonite to the boy. I'm right. Take one. Scene two. Action. What do you mean I didn't get into the damn school? You better reconsider before I find a Toronto and bitch slap your ass! Would anybody like some tea? Oh, come on, let me just ruin the shot. I'm sorry, Lance. Let's do it again. <laughs> What's my motivation? Simply put, you are playing him. And you are playing him. Uh, yo, Teddy, you got the shit, yo? I got the shit, but you better be ready to cop up the lizards. So when's the deadline? Noon. Tomorrow. I'll bring it in tomorrow. Cool. Listen, Lance. I often refer to you as a hack. Someone who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. And truth be told, you are the personification of that very statement. But there's also something else. You're also a genius. You have a way of looking about the thing. And there's reasons why I decided to make the movie this one and The Fallen Warrior with you. Because you had to? No. Please, I could have gotten any fucking job anywhere, whatever, it didn't matter. It's because you tell good stories. They come from your heart. For some way, you seem to be able to tell really good movies. And I mean, sure, your filmmaking needs a little work. School will help you with that. But you have something that others in your position don't have. You do it. And it makes all the difference in the world. More than me, even. More than those idiots at Wells Film Society. More than anyone else. You don't just sit around and talk about making movies. You go out with your camera and you shoot good stories. It's not just good. It's bold. And it's admirable. Thank you, Thurston. Your stories have heart, too. Something that people can really relate to. And with a little bit of work on your technique, there's going to be no doubt in my mind that you'll end up being even better than me someday. It was an honor to make movies with you. An honor. Lance? Yeah? There's mail for you. From the film festival. Oh, gimme! Gimme! <laughs> yes! 
Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. What does it say? What, what does it say? Hang on a second. Hang on. Okay. Let's see. Bad news. Fallen Warrior didn't get in. But my big fat amateur movie did! Oh! Oh, that's wonderful! That's right! Oh, that's wonderful! Ah, yes! <laughs> My big fat amateur movie, Alvin Williams, from the director Smelly Sauce. That's right. What the hell is Smelly Sauce? No one in the right about. mind's gonna know what the hell is Smelly Sauce yeah, is. A lot of people, gentlemen, calm yourselves. This movie is going to rule. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, I hope it's good right. to Smelly Sauce. Better Pair than yourselves, prepare Better. yourselves. I hope so. I will be. See you soon. Thanks. No one in their right <laughs> mind. What did I do? You, tell? your goof Okay, friends, listen to me, all no right? No one in their right mind. A no lot one. of people are gonna like no this. One. Lance, Look at this Thurston. Right I'm so happy to be here. Alvin I'm Williams. so What's stoked going to be on. in the picture. What's going on? It's gonna be good. <laughs> Who is this handsome devil? <laughs> the star, the one and only, right there. Uh, have great. you met my it's fiance, Quinn Canyon? Quinn Canyon. This is Lance White. He directed this Hi, little Quinn. bit. Hi, Quinn. How you doing? Good. This is my cousin Thurston. Hi. Pleasure. Well, I've already got one signed okay. and framed. Right. Come on, my sweet. Let's go inside. <laughs> See you in there. Up. Hey, Ready? Ready. Good What's going on, man? Good seeing you. Okay. What's right. that? Nothing. Just the poster. Let's go. Let me see. Yeah. Why aren't I yeah. on the poster? Because um, he's just not. a star. But okay. I worked so hard. I was in the movie too. Is I that know just, that. Yeah. But small then no, Alvin, look at how big the picture. You, you have to understand. What do you think he would? It's showbiz. I'm sorry, but I was small part. Maybe the next movie. Maybe the next movie. Such a people person. Wanna do this? Five minutes, let's go do it. Alright, let's go. Sharon. You broke my camera ass. Now you're gonna pay. Alright, fuckers. Are you ready to see my masterpiece? This is gonna blow you away. The movie's been cancelled, bitches. Okay, so explain what happened to the film again. Don't you bitch to me about the movie. I shot that motherfucker and it was bomb ass. Fortunately, it suffered a little accident and will never see the light of day. Well, contractually, you owe us a finished project. And we'd hope that you would honor that contract too. Honor this contract. Freddy, I have an idea. What is it? It's absolutely brilliant. Really? Get this. We're gonna make an amateur movie about amateur movie makers making an amateur movie about amateur movies. I love it. I love it! That is so good! When do we start? Man! Watch me edit this movie! This is the greatest thing I've ever done! They're not gonna know what hit them. I'm twisting the knobs, I'm pushing the buttons, I'm making the cuts! Oh man, I gotta make a cut here! This movie is gonna be brilliant! Oh, the Cades Film Society isn't gonna know what hit them. It's gonna rock their fucking socks off! It's gonna make them think! It's gonna make them go, holy shit! They're gonna stand up, they're gonna say, this man is a damn genius! Look out! Here comes the me! Yeah! I'm editing up a fucking store! Oh, I'm twisting this knob. I don't know what it does, but it's gonna be brilliant. I'm gonna make the transitions! I'm making effects! I'm putting on fucking patterns! I'm changing my borders! I'm sliding things! I'm experimenting! That's right! I'm experimenting with film! People haven't done this in years! This is like an expression of myself! It's art! I'm making art! That Lance White is the next motherfucking Citizen Kane! This is amazing! Good work, man. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, the really audience good responded well. Yeah, Lance. Great. great job. Thanks, Freddie. Really good. Great, great job. Great job. You should have been on that yeah. cover. Thank you. you.
Good roll, man. Good job, guys. I don't know we should have been on there. That was the worst $10 I have ever spent in my life. And I bought used dildos on eBay. Who the hell is this guy? That was the finest piece of acting I've seen in a long time. I know, baby. I know. See? Just all adds up, you know? I know. Some people I like know. it. That guy didn't like it. That's didn't fine. Like it, though. That's, that's I cool. Care, though, you know? I think Look. overall this is just a fantastic movie. Shut up, you goof. For one second. Fine. Tonight. Yeah. You're gonna be at the independent party? Oh, damn right. Yeah? yeah. You're gonna be at the film festival party? Film festival party, I'm there. They say Roger Lamont's gonna be there. Hey, Roger Lamont. I'm down. I'm yeah. down. Let's do it. Yep. Alright. Some drinking going? Yeah. Alright, right, I'll see you later. Nice party, isn't it? Pretty good. You know who I am? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Roger Lamont. Oh yeah, I know you. Sorry I didn't recognize you. You're just usually behind the camera. <laughs> I saw your movie. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. What makes you think you can just waltz in here and make a movie like that? I'm sure I've never heard of you. And you think you and your little jackass crew can come in here and make a movie like that? What do you think this is, some kind of a joke? No, I didn't mean anything by it. Christ, I'm 41 years old, and my main concern is getting some selection from a minor film festival? I was a film student once. I had dreams. And it takes a lot of work. And it's never, ever, enough reward. I saw your movie. Did you? Yeah. You want to know why it doesn't get the acclaim? Why? Because people, whether they want to admit it or not, crave entertainment. That comes from the heart. Stop thinking about what you want in the movie or who you want in the movie, or what kind of recognition or money you're going to get from it. Just tell stories that come from your heart. Tell stories that people can relate to and love. For now, let's just enjoy the party. What does it say? I got it. Really? Oh, that's terrific! Thurston, thanks for all your help, man. Thanks for everything. Yeah. And you're welcome for everything. You goof. Oh, yeah. I miss you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, Quinn? I'll miss you. What else? Lance. You know, I don't know if you remember this, but way back in grade four, 
uh, I did this presentation and I really screwed it up. And I ran to the bathroom, I was crying. But then you came and you comforted me. And that day we actually made our first movie together. You know, I was so shy, like in grade four and junior high and stuff. But then the next presentation we had to do, the teacher let us make a video. And the whole class loved it. They thought it was funny, they laughed. And from then on, I wasn't shy anymore. And, uh, you know, that's why I want to become an actor. I don't think I've ever told you this, but I think you're really good at what you do. And thanks a lot. Thank you, Freddie. Alright. See you all. See ya. See ya. In the movie. Bye. Are you sure? Yeah, it's on. Okay, all right. Okay, she's going to stand over there. Put how, her over how there. How do you know where she's going to stand? The lighting's better over there. you got to make sure that she gets over there. Okay, fine. So, so we, angle it over. Like, move it. No, 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 no. That's too much, man. I don't think it's too much. No, it's too much. You're, you're filming more of the clothes over here. I th I'd say right. we just tilt it a little bit more over there. You know, I find that's a nice little alcove for her to, you know, get changed all right, and all, all right. that stuff. So, you know, this is good, okay? you got to turn it up. Okay, here. Give me that. Oh, not over the lens. Well, she can't see it. Yeah, yeah, well, like, you know, we gotta get the lens perfect there. there. Perfect. What the heck are those boys up to? <sighs> Quinn. Quinn. Hi. You can change right here in my room. Thank you. No problem. First class, right here. Okay. All right? All right. Okay. We'll be right outside, okay? We'll make sure no one comes in. Okay, Thanks. Okay. Okay. Little bastards. Hello, Quinn. Uh, this is Catherine White.
Shut it.